teased. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a lot of different things to be honest guys. I did update my Kenny Omega Customs. I got some head scans on there now. I'm pretty much completely done with the lime green one but as well as uh, the, the red one I need some help on the decals. I got some decals to show you guys to figure that one out. But uh, the first thing that I want to take a look at is the stage for MDT sold out. So you guys saw the title of the video. I have designed part of the stage here, as you can see, with the red and black. This is the theme of the pay-per-view. You guys have seen the logo, I do believe. If not, I'll pop it up on the screen for you guys so you guys see the logo there. So you guys can see sort of what I'm going for here. It's like a fringe tunnel right here, and I plan on putting this up against the back piece so it'll have like a, uh, a back wall and then we'll have a, like a centerpiece. There'll be a Titan Tron. And then we have our tunnel right here that goes over the top. I used three pieces of cardboard. And uh, I made this little platform right here on the left side. And then I made a platform on the right side. They're the same size. I, or size. I used uh, some cardboard. I cut the scissors. Used some scissors. Cut off the flaps of a box. You know, you open up a box. Cut those flappages off. And taped them up with duct tape. Give them some sturdiness. Then I took one uh, elongated piece. The middle flap. Cut that out you know put the duct tape on there and then let me move these letters right here but then I cut some holes in the sides right here of the uh, of the platforms like down the center and I duct taped up the the middle part and then I slid it through those holes and it was real th like it wasn't too you know uh, big of a hole that way you know it was real tight and stuff then I put duct tape over that so that it would hold I'll probably have to put t something on either side of the stage that way you know to keep it like this that way it'll be like uh, it pushed in a little bit. That way you're not getting like a wide and short tunnel because I want, you know, the superstars to be able to fit. Um, let's see. We'll, we'll try with Macho Man right here. So you see they do fit inside. So if we just want to do this, you can see that they do fit inside and they will come out of the tunnel like that. I'll probably add a few more pieces of fringe so you guys can't see completely through there. But uh, I kind of like the way it looks. You know, it's got gray uh, little fringe pieces on there. It's got red and then, of course, black. I think that is the theme of the pay-per-view. So we are going with red, black, and gray. I also have these other pieces right here that I cut out that I'll be putting somewhere on the stage. We have this S and then we have the O. If you guys saw the logo, you know why I made it like this. So it's going to be probably like this. They'll connect right here. And we'll have the SO for sold out right there. So that's my little idea for that. I don't know where this will go. I thought about putting the S here and the O here. But let me know down in the comment section below if I should put the S here and the O here. Or should I put it somewhere on the back wall or connect it or whatever. So let me know down in the comment section below. For these, all I did was took some black poster board and, you know, drew out the shape of the letter. Cut it out. Used some tape to uh, do the edges. It's a little bit rough on the edges just because... Uh, Duct tape's sort of messy to play with. You know, the back of it looks rough, but uh, nobody will see that. So we're just riding with this. So I wanted to show you guys that little piece of the MDT sold out stage. I think it's pretty freaking awesome. Here is the Kenny Omega with the lime green. You guys saw this in a former video. We finally got a head scan on there. So we have the head scan on there. And then I added the Kenny Omega cleaner decals to the kick pads right here. So you guys will see it says K Omega and then the cleaner. So not only do I have the spray paint spray paint look on there, I added those decals. I think it really completes it. It makes it look a whole lot more bad A. We got the belt on there, got the logo on the side, we got the cleaner on the butt, and then we have the other bullet club or elite logo on the other leg. So I think that's really awesome. Really happy with the way that Kenny Omega turned out. And then we're going to take a closer look at the red one real quick because, I, again, I need your guys' help on what kind of decals I should put. So we do have the red one right here, and it's another Kenny Omega, of course. And on the side right here, we have a bunch of different decals in this little baggie that I got from Curb Stump. I thought about putting the pistols on there, like putting a pistol um, like this one over here in the corner, taking this one and putting it down, like pointed downwards, and then taking the other one and putting it downwards there, but they're not flipped, so it'd kind of be weird. They'd both be facing the exact same way, but I wanted to at least put one on there. I think the, the pistol would look really nice on there. I thought about putting maybe one of the Bullet Club logos right here, maybe the other one right there, and then a pistol. I don't know. I, I Then I thought about, you know, just custom painting the design, but we do have both head skins on there. Really freaking sweet. So we have a red Kenny Omega, and he'll probably be wearing this at MDT sold out, I'm pretty sure. I just think that that would be the best because, you know, it's red. It matches the pay-per-view and everything. Here's a look at the kick pads with the white outline. I just think that's so sick. It ties into the attire perfectly. But we also have some pickups here. 
that I got from a couple followers on my Instagram that I want to shout out real quick. I did get these arms right here. I got some Billy Gun arms to switch on to the Kenny Omegas. I think it'll look a lot better. These are just smaller, more accurate. I love the Billy Gun arms, guys. If you're going to make a Kenny Omega custom, use the freaking Billy Gun arms. They're perfect. Definitely use those. And then I picked up a DDP he uh, head because we're going to be making another, yes ma'am, we're going to be making another Custom Fantasy Kenny Omega, so we're going to be using this Macho Man right here with the uh, the fringe pants right here. I'll probably be painting this up different colors, and we're going to have another Kenny Omega Custom. So I needed another hair piece. This won't be the head scan. We'll be using the same Daniel Bryan head scan. I don't know why. I love the Daniel Bryan bearded head scan with the DDP hair piece. I just think that looks bad A for Kenny Omega on Vindication. So that's what we'll be using. We did get the Macho Man and some other Billy Gun Arms. I got two pairs of Billy Gun Arms. So we got the Macho Man and some Billy Gun Arms from Judd Smith. So huge shout out to Judd Smith. I tried to find his Instagram, but I could not find it. So Judd Smith, thank you so much for the Macho Man and the Billy Gun Arms. I believe we traded for that. And then my boy Aiden Wrestling. I'll pop his Instagram up on the, on the screen there for you guys. He uh, sent us over this head and these two Billy Gun Arms. So huge shout out to those two guys. I believe that was a trade as well. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. If I uh, you know, get some stuff later in the mail, I'll probably make a double upload today. But uh, let me know down in the comments section below what you guys think of the lime green Kenny as well as the red Kenny with their head scans on there as well as the, uh, the cleaner and the decals on the red one and the uh, kick pads down here. What do you think of MDT sold out? We're grinding hard on MDT Vindication Episode 9, so that should be, you know, coming up very soon. Then we'll have MDT Live Episode 9, and then it will be time for Sold Out. So definitely be hyped up, get ready, and let me know again about the SOs and where they should go on the stage. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you got this far in the video, guys, comment down below. I am sold out so that I know that you watched it this far, and that will definitely mean a ton to me, and I'll probably reply to your comments. So definitely do that down below. Subscribe to the the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.